It may seem as if though this video is kind of coming a little bit out of the blue, but I just wanted to share this with you guys, so yeah, let's get on to it. I'm not exactly sure I know how to start off this video, but I think the best way to go about doing so is to just state the obvious, that we humans have struggles, be they physical, emotional, mental, anything you can think of, basically. Sometimes the issue is very clear and has a very clear root cause. Other times it feels a little bit random, but either way, it's never easy. And the main reason why I'm making a video like this right now is because I'm kind of at a stage right now or in a phase where I I feel like I'm sort of achieving what I'm trying to achieve. I know I'm going to places and that I'm managing to do stuff, but in other regards and in other situations, it's easy to feel hopeless or to feel like you don't really have control. I remember there was a time back in the day where I struggled with anxiety and depression, and as I was getting more into Wicca, I wanted to know a little bit more about how Wiccans and pagans and even witches uh, deal with difficult things, difficult situations, feelings. Like, what is the mentality? What is the ideology and thoughts around how to deal with grief, how to deal with hardship, and that kind of stuff. Because sometimes being able to cast a magic spell isn't really the solution to your problem and isn't really gonna help you. Sometimes you really just want to connect with other people in your community and ask them, you know, what do you actually think about these kinds of things? How do you approach these kinds of issues in the best way possible? Some communities and some people deal with difficult situations by saying, oh, it's meant to happen. If someone died, you know, they'll live a good life in the afterlife. You know, something along the lines of that. But as a beginner, which myself, who did struggle with some things at the time, I thought to myself, you know, I'll do some research on this and see if I can find some answers to this question. As pagans and witches, we see life as being very important and life is happening in the here and now in a world where a lot of things happen, sometimes things don't really happen for a reason, life just is what it is. And I've found this to be very true. It's very easy for us to look at the bad stuff that is happening in our lives and to put it all on our shoulders or to center it around ourselves. Why am I struggling so? Why did this happen to me? And while it absolutely is easier said than done, there is is a sort of comfort, at least for me, in understanding that I am just one piece of a bigger whole because I know that not everything is my fault, not everything is my doing. But the funny thing is that as witches we focus a lot on personal empowerment and being strong and independent individuals. And that is a very interesting contrast because while we do live in a world that's big and where we only play a tiny role, you know, we experience the world through our lens, through our experience. And you know what? There's only so much we humans can take upon ourselves. There's only so much that we can try to understand and learn. And I am by no means saying that we should not continue learning and that we should just sit back and be lazy. It's got nothing to do with that. But it is important to understand and acknowledge the fact that we really are just humans. Okay, this is getting a little bit messy. I realize that I'm kind of losing track of what I'm trying to talk about, but what I am trying to get to is the following. We should remember that we as individual humans are just tiny specks that are part of a bigger whole, but we are individuals and we actually have the power to shape and change our reality. And what I'm about to say right now, I think relates to way more people than just me, but right now, I'm in a place, I'm in a phase and in a situation where I think it's very important for me not to lose sight of this fact. In times where we're struggling or we need to work through some issues, I think it's important to remember the strength that we're carrying within ourselves. And we should use this strength to help ourselves, help the people around us, and to better understand the world and nature as a whole. <sighs> yeah, this video is a little bit messy and a little bit unclear. Um, I don't think my thoughts are as clear as I want them to be, but, you know, that's pretty normal. 
<laughs> I feel like I've talked about this before and I don't really feel like I'm providing any answers in this video, but I just really wanted to make this video as a reminder. All I want to express right now is gratitude. You guys are amazing and I just want you guys to know that everyone who has watched my videos, liked and subscribed to my channel, everyone who has supported me with encouraging words, I just want you to know that I am super grateful and it really does make a difference. At the end of the day, all we can really do is to support each other, to help one another, and you guys have truly been a great support for me. I hope that I'm doing my part to be a great support for you guys, to you guys, and to all of you who are struggling right now in some way or another, I just want you to know that you're not alone, and I hope we can be all in this together, both as humans and as witches. So, yeah, I think that was all for this video. Do you have some tips or some input as to how we can deal with these kinds of things in a witchy and magical way, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content on this channel. You guys are amazing, strong, and awesome. I believe in you, and until next time guys, blessed be from my pagan life.